And here they are from New Zealand with no sheep on stage, Team One Beep. All inventions start with an inspiration. Most are inspired by need. It's like they say, necessity is the mother of all inventions. But we didn't need to fly, did we? We didn't need to go to the moon. Some of the greatest inventions of our times come from a much greater inspiration, our imagination. One beep, the Novi Zelande. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Team One Beep from New Zealand. My name is Vinny Jeet. I'm the team leader. Kyle Lakadia, Chenny Olyu, Steve Ward. As we start, please focus on that one child, one life. <laughs> Half of the 2.4 billion in the ch children in the world are inadequately educated or receive no education at all. Imagine, imagine what the world, imagine what we, imagine what you can do to provide these children with the tools to improve their education and learning. Today, we're going to take you through what the world is doing, what we are doing, and what you can do. Well. The world has come up with the One Laptop Per Child, OLPC, and the Intel Classmate PC Initiative. Cheap education device for use in the developing world. 2.6 million of these laptops are already in operation in some of the most remote regions of the globe. And millions, millions more to come. Now the question you might have is why? Why give a laptop to a child who may have no electricity or even running water? Well, if you replace the word laptop with education, the answer becomes clear. You do not stop education until all the other challenges are solved. Food, water, shelter. You do them at the same time, because education is the foundation to the other solutions. 2.6 million laptops. 30 million to be deployed over the next five years. This sounds pretty good to me. So what is the problem here? Well, they have no connectivity, no broadband, 3G, 4G. They cannot receive education information, classroom curriculum, health information. These laptops are digitally disconnected, and that does not help in the children's education. So then, what is the solution? Well, the solution is the power of radio with the power of one beep. Because with the power of radio signals, we can transmit beep beep, beep beep information to these devices in a way that is low cost, free, highly available, highly reliable, and it incurs no further infrastructure costs. Let's take a look into South America. What's already there? Well, between the OLPC and Intel Classmate PC programs, there has already been 1.2 million laptops distributed. There is also currently enough broadcasting stations throughout the continent to give coverage to even the most remote regions. If we zoom in a little bit closer and take a look at Peru, there has been 500,000 laptops deployed here. But, 95% of these have no connectivity. So what's missing to connect these hundreds and thousands of laptops to the outside world? Quite simply, one beep software and a simple cable like the one you have in front of you. Remember, the radio infrastructure to broadcast to these remote regions is already there. So let's look a little bit closer again and in the schools. These laptops have got a built-in Wi-Fi. They can talk to one another while they're within the classroom, but they cannot talk to the outside world. And of these classrooms, pretty much every single one of them has a radio. They've already got it. 
So they have all the ingredients now to connect to the outside world. They have the laptop, the cheap cable, one beep software, and the existing radio infrastructure. So all you need to do is take that cable, plug it into the radio, plug it into the laptop, and then use radio waves to distribute educational and health material to these devices. It's so simple, but yet so brilliant. <laughs> now imagine. <laughs> well, well. Now imagine you're part of the Ministry of Education in Rwanda in the city of Kigali, and you want to distribute educational material to the remote village of Ramagana. Sure, you could send along a jeep with a package of information, but that's anything but practical. Using one beep solution, we can send this information straight to the laptops, whether they're in the classroom or at home. And what's more is we can send it to hundreds of other villages simultaneously. So let me show you how this works. A chosen file, which has been selected to send, is converted into audio using Mombeat Publisher. It is then sent via a radio transmitter, and then received through a simple radio connected to the laptops and Mombeat receiver. Once the file has been received, it is converted back to the original document and presented to the user in Mombeat Library. This is a fully functional prototype, and it only requires a radio license and a powerful transmitter to deploy the system. Here is a video demonstration of how one beep solution works. Hello, I'm Chen Yul Yu, and I will guide you through a demonstration of our system. Here, we can see Dr. Bernard Gillemet, a teacher, creating a document which is intended to raise awareness about HIV. Any teacher, NGO, or a member from a Ministry of Education can create a document to be published. Or they can select a pre-made tutorial from the OneBeep website. Now that Dr. Gilliman has the file he'd like to send, he then uses OneBeep Publisher to convert the document into audio for sending. Once navigated to and selected, the contents of the chosen document are displayed in the preview window. When Dr. Gilliman is happy with the document, he simply clicks the publish button and the process begins. The document is now broken down into its binary data and using our own algorithm, it is mapped into an audio format which can be sent over any radio network. Once complete, the file can be saved and sent to a transmitting station already to be played. At the broadcaster end, all that is needed is a way to play this audio file. Here you can see the broadcaster preparing the file which will be played over the FM or AM network. We are now at the receiving end with Mayank. First, a standard radio is tuned to the correct frequency. Mayank then connects the radio to the laptop using a very cheap audio cable. The OneBeep software is started up and the receiving can begin. With the radio connected to the laptop, Mayank can use OneBeep receiver to time the recording of the transmitted audio file. The actual length of this particular audio is about 40 seconds. However, for error correction and time reasons, 5 minutes is allowed to ensure the document is received in its full original format. Once the file is finished downloading and converted to its original format, Maya can open the document to see his new information received. The OneBeep library is automatically updated with the file as it's received and uses tags to allocate where in the library the document is to be saved. Since the document sent was educating about HIV awareness, it is found in the health section. Children can also search OneBeep library 
for whatever they might be looking for. The search function can be used to search through the titles of the files. And they can also search the content inside the document. For example, if a child would like to see a tutorial that they have previously received to hone their subtraction skills, they can easily go straight to and open the specific document. Simple, elegant, and easy to use. Now I'll pass you back on to Kyle and Chenyo, who will do a live demonstration for you so you can witness the power of one beep firsthand. <coughs> Hi, I'm Kyle, this is Chenyol, and we are going to be guiding you through a live demonstration of our one beep solution. There are basically two parts, the radio broadcaster end and the user receiving end. Here we have the one beep software ready to transmit. We are currently at a stage where we can transmit any digital file. We can also insert a subject tag which will be used to categorize this file on the receiving end. Due to our timing constraints today, we would like to show you the transmission of a short text message. If you could please ask one of the judges to write something they would like us to transmit over the radio. Short one line message, sir. We'll be using this small FM transmitter, which is basically just a small scale version of a real radio broadcasting station. As Steve pointed out, this is a fully functional prototype, which only requires a radio license and a powerful transmitter to deploy the system. Once, once we have decided what we would like to transmit, we can click the Publish button, and a corresponding audio file will be created. As you can see, this file is now ready for transmission. Hi, I'll explain about the receiving end. You may have seen in the video that users needed to know the time of the transmission. However, our software can now capture the start of the transmission automatically. When I press Begin Recording button, the software will detect, will wait for the valid transmission signal. Kayo, can you please start the transmission? When the transmission is started, the software will automatically record the sound. After the transmission, it will go to analysis mode, in which it will do data correction to locate and fix any errors if, yes. I mean, errors if there were any. After the analysis mode, the name of the file will be shown, and the subject that has been attached from the transmitting end will be shown. The number beside the subject will show you the number of errors found and fixed successfully, in this case, none. Pressing this button will display the message that has been sent from the transmitting end. Now I'll take you through an overall system architecture. In the development of our solution, we created a website using Microsoft Visual Studios for the online submittal of tutorials. We are currently considering extending this model to incorporate Microsoft Azure for hosting of the files in the cloud. There have also been multiple graphical user interfaces, all developed using Microsoft Visual Studio, as well as background software which is done to do all the complicated stuff. All of this has been done using C-sharp programming language. And here is a screenshot of the OneBit website, which is currently live and running at www.onebit.org. Now, before I pass you back to Vinny, I'll take you through a quote from Peter Casey, Senior Radio Development Engineer from Radio Networks New Zealand. He had this to say about OneBeep's solution. The really exciting thing about OneBeep's plan is being able to breathe digital technology into these kids' laptops using legacy AM radio. And he also recognizes that AM radio is available in every nation. So, how do we make this a reality? Well, as Steve pointed out, with the help of Radio Network New Zealand, we have successfully tested out our solution on distances over 400 kilometers. Oxfam, a global charity, has this to say about our project. <laughs> 